You feed your face, and we'll feed your brain with the info you need to start your day. Good morning, world. It's a brand new day. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. Oh, my. <laughs> Welcome in. It's Talk of the Town. Uh, Monday morning. Today is the last day of November. It's the last day of your food coma. We're all recovering from the Thanksgiving food coma. Good, coma. Good to have everybody here this morning. Last day of the month. <clears throat> And now we're headlong into the holidays. Coming up this hour, we're going to uh, have information about the Greenville Christmas Homes Tour, which happens every uh, year at this time. Beautiful homes on display here in Greenville, decorated for the holidays. My wife did a great job decorating yesterday while I was on the couch watching football. McGee, how about you? Uh, I pulled. Uh, I pulled the lights down. Yeah, I took the Christmas tree down. I pulled the lights down from the attic. Yeah. I put them over yeah. the archway, and that was about it. Exactly. Monday morning, uh, it's become a tradition here on the program. Brendan King is here from WITN. Good morning, Brendan. Nice to see you. Hey, good to see you. And at the news desk over there with him, snuggling up nice and tight, <laughs> is Tony Z, our Uber driver. It's mm -hmm. time for a Tony Z Uber <laughs> report. <laughs> Every Monday morning, the guy comes in. He drives. He works here during the week. He drives Uber on the weekend. There was no Panthers game yesterday. Yeah, uh, no, so no you Panthers didn't. You didn't game. have to drive. I slept shirt. all day yesterday because yeah. I had a long. I was up in Winston Salem all night. Yes, yeah, what all I day heard. Saturday. That's what I heard. Um, so but I you, drove a little bit Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night a little bit. Football games, uh, home football games are, are usually pretty uh, active. Yes. But this was a noon game, so I don't know. But I mean, you had. <laughs> I didn't you, care. You, I, I left. But you had a very special guest. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I'm, I, you had a I'm special guest uh, in your car on. Uh, when, when was this? It was, I want to say it had to have been Friday night. Friday night, yeah. Before I stopped, it had to have been. I'm try, I was trying to think as I, after I told you that. I was like, so I'm drive. I'm sitting at my house because I just sit at my house most of the time be, while I'm waiting for yeah, the thing because right. I'm right, I'm in the middle of everything. Yeah. Uh, and I usually get a lot of the hotel people when they're coming in for out of town, the games right, and stuff. Right, so yeah. I go, I'm driving over, and this guy's walking out. Is this, full, the, is this the Hilton? No, the Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn. Full Cincinnati gear. Full gear. I mean, it's 11.30 at night. I mean, his hat, jacket, book bag, socks, shoes, everything Cincinnati. I'm when he gets in the car, I'm like, so by chance do you play for the team or something? Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. What are you? <laughs> and then I realized it's 11.30 at night and all the kids were already, all the students were already sleeping. Well, you know maybe. What I mean? Maybe. So, uh, it wouldn't have surprised me, but. <laughs> yeah, that's so it true. So it wasn't a, a player. Uh, no, it wasn't. He ended up being um, a linebacker coach. He was one of the Cincinnati coaches. Yes, he was one of the Cincinnati Calling linebacker Uber coaches. Calling Uber at eleven thirty at night. Eleven thirty at night. Now, pray tell, where where did he want you to take him? I I don't. What's the I was talking. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. You it's said you said he, Kinkos. King is that what it was? What is, what is it called down there? It's not Kinkos. Oh, anymore. to make copies. on tenth. Yeah, he was going it to is get Kinkos. make a copy. It is Kinkos. Well, he was going to get the plays laminated. Oh, he oh. The, oh. You know, for like on the sidelines in case it was raining or whatever. And is uh, Kinkos open that late till twelve. Yeah, till so till I had yeah. he we, he goes night. he gets in the car he goes we got to get there I'm like okay like yeah I'm gonna like I not I mean I'm not from I, I was indifferent because I'm from Ohio but now I live down here I'm like what do I do like hey bud like you get there when you get there. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he gets. So he the, wanted, he calls you that late, and then you yeah. show up. He says you got to hurry. Yeah, like yeah. it's my fault now. That's like you waited that long. Gun. What was he thinking? <laughs> so, was it Jeff uh, Coon? Did he give you his name? Uh, no, no. He. Okay. Um, but they said they just got in town. They said they have a they had a private plane that flew them right in. Oh yeah, they have a they charter. Just got in town. I was actually playing golf at Greenville Country Club late Friday afternoon. And uh, the the uh, charter came right over the the uh, yeah. golf course, because you know you, you don't get those seven thirty sevens in here. Uh huh. Oh, it's oh, it real big. Into okay, gotcha. the Greenville Airport, the, the Greenville International, that often. <laughs> so we looked up. I went, oh yeah, football team's coming in. And then and then uh, like midway the third quarter, on uh, during the game on Saturday, I was sitting there with my grandson, and I pointed out. I said, see that airplane right there? It was coming back in to pick him up. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a look when when we have a big airplane flying to Greenville, it's a big deal around here. <laughs> it's a news uh, story. Instead when, of those old box car willies that US Air used to fly in here, but uh, but anyway, Tony Z's Uber report continues. He came out of the thing 
He, I was in there for like, I was sitting in there. I felt like 15, 20 minutes. Finally, so you, out. he had you wait for him. Well, yeah, and then I, he's like, "Do you mind waiting?" And I'm like, "No," because I'm just racking up the thing at that point. Yeah, you're making money. Yeah, I don't care. You're sitting there making money. Yeah. So I take him, and he comes out, and I go, "I go, aren't you worried that that lady's gonna take those copies and sell them to ECU?" Because I don't know about you, but good I don't thinking, trust, Tony Z. I don't trust anybody. <laughs> and like, if that lady's got a kid or somebody or family, well, she's I mean, an ECU fan. Yeah, and it's Greenville. Like everybody yeah. loves ECU. Do you guys bleed gold right. and purple down? It's it's amazing. I love it. And I was like, I don't trust anybody. His eyes got real big. He's like, uh, no. And he kind of like stuttered. No, and he stumbled. was worried about it. You you put a thought in his head. It, <laughs> it worried. <laughs> he goes, but we all exchange videos and stuff, so it is. But it's like, yeah, you may, but you may have made new place for this game or something yeah. like that. I, that's yeah, just he was, my, how I think. That was a cover. He, he was very worried. You, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him something to yeah, worry. He was like, uh, I'm surprised I don't they wouldn't have done that before they got to town, McGee, weren't, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, you would think they'd make copies. You would have think they would have had their plays laminated. Hey, yeah. whatever. It is what it is. So you, you, you took the coach out to get his yeah, plays laminated. Yeah, and then took him back. So did uh, he give you any inside information? Like, we're no, going to whip East Carolina tomorrow. No, I just kind of like, I didn't really want to get, I would just kind of talking to him in general, see yeah. how just things work. It wasn't Tommy Tuberville, was it? What's that? Tommy Tuberville, the head coach? It wasn't him. No, it was the linebacker coach. Linebacker's coach. Yeah. I'm not too sure. who. Some right. short little... Well, that's a, that's a neat story. That's not nearly as exciting as the naked guy in your trunk from two no, weeks no, ago. No, 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 no. But, no, no, uh, or no. girls rubbing was, your shoulders and taking you yeah, to the tie hop. Everybody breakfast. was out of town, so it wasn't that yeah. it's exciting. So I'm the students becoming, weren't here. You were, yeah. you were stuck uh, driving around football coaches. And then locals. Um, I'm becoming famous, though, doing this because, like, I get in the car. What do you do? They instantly say I, I sound funny, and they don't think I'm from here. I don't know. I think I sound normal. But I think I think you sound normal also. <laughs> they all, they normal normal they for a the, damn Yankee. But. <laughs> <laughs> they get in the car, and they go, you're not from here. And I tell them, and they, they all know you or Hank or something. Somebody, and then they're like, wait, are you the one that comes on Hank show or Henry show and does the thing and blah, blah. I'm like, yes, I'm Tony, the Uber up. To, yes, yes. Tony yes. Z, the Uber driver. Yes. You, the Uber <laughs> so update guy. Up. Yeah. So I'm becoming Now, have you ever myself. picked up Brendan King on no, the weekend? No, no, no. no. So and I think if I would, I wouldn't want to come on here and tell. You wouldn't, you wouldn't no, tell no, the story. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you no, might no. Get I keep those Brendan wouldn't to... want you to tell the story. <laughs> 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 he, he's, got a, he's got the ITN and all that stuff. We can't be doing that to him. All right, so that's it for this week. That's huh? it. It was that's a simple it. week. Yeah. Sorry. Wish I had more no, for you. No, no, uh, no beautiful ECU girls no. rubbing your neck, taking you to IHOP. None of that. No, no, I wish. Right. I'm hoping one of these so times I week. come in and next, have a real students will be one. back this week, and we'll. <laughs> yeah. So next next Monday it, it'll be more X-rated, maybe. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, Tony. Tony Z. There he goes, Tony Z, the Uber driver. Suntan that's like got, you know. I, do you get the feeling that Tony actually loves driving Uber? Yes. There's no question about that. Yeah. He likes it. I mean, I could see, you know, if I was 25 and carefree like Tony Z is, I'd probably, that would probably be a cool thing I to do. I think Tony needs, needs Uber in his life right now. Well, you know, and he, he moved here. He doesn't know a lot of people. It's helping him yeah. meet people. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Strangers in your car, though? What's that? Strangers in your well, you got, car. Well, hang on a second. Your mic's got to get turned on. Oh. Turn him on there. Yeah. Say it again. Oh, do you want strangers in your car, though? I don't know. I mean, I have a Well, I do. I, you know, he's, he's talked about being worried about having. Uh, you know, residue and stuff in his car. People throwing I mean, up I've and heard that kind of horror guy. stories. Yeah. 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 I just don't want to risk it's it. A chance I mean, you people who need Uber, a lot of them have, have had a few drinks. And so, you know, yeah, obviously. if they've had way too much to drink when they get in the car and they get car sick, boom, there's your, there's your, your you're earning your Uber money. Jeez. Yeah. I wouldn't be too happy about that. That wouldn't make me happy. But. Apparently, it's not burned him yet, apparently. No, he, he said he That's had good. some other, um, Activity, which I'm not going to repeat because it was X-rated last week, but it wasn't. Huh. It wasn't from people vomiting in his car. But anyway, 14 after, <laughs> 14 after, eight o'clock. You know, you know. The, here's the problem. Not once did Tony Z this morning say, "Here we go." Yes, I looked uh, back at the back seat and I went, yeah. "Oh, here we go." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Usually, uh, go. 14, uh, 14 <laughs> after eight o'clock. Uh, the um, football season is over. The Pirates will play basketball tomorrow night. Yes, they will. Uh, at home. I saw the – you mentioned this uh, Friday morning we were at a Chick-fil-A. Uh, the Lady Pirates dropped their first uh, game of the year. They, they lost one over the weekend. Hmm. Oh, they lost two now. Oh, they lose another one? Lost to Northwestern over the weekend. No kidding. Yep. So East Carolina's men are back home uh, tomorrow night, and they have Florida Atlantic. They any good? That's a Conference USA team now. 
Yeah. Our old conference, Florida Atlantic. I know a lot about them. Um, that's who the Pirates will play tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Menji's Coliseum. So plan to come out. I mentioned this earlier. Rose and North Pitt will play today. And our own coach, Neil Carr, who got uh, one game away from the state championship game last year and has everybody back at North Pitt. Yeah. I'm going to try to get over there and watch some of that this afternoon. Uh, the JVs uh, start at 4 o'clock at Rose. This is going to be at Rose High this afternoon. Uh, and, you know, Coach Carr, would he would rather beat Rose High than breathe oxygen, <laughs> wouldn't he? Yeah, he really would, wants to beat Rose. That's his big thing. If you're coaching at North Pitt, you want to beat Rose. You do. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting today at 4 o'clock. The uh, JVs and then the girls will probably play probably, what, about 5.30, 5.45, something like that? Yeah. So uh, I might try to slip over there for some of that um, around dinner time tonight. And uh, let's see what else is going on. Panthers are off. Of course, they didn't play yesterday. They've got the New Orleans Saints. Is that game in Charlotte, or is it? It's in New Orleans, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yep. Saints are going in the wrong direction. Here's the thing: Denver beats uh, New England last night, which was good because now the Panthers are the only undefeated team, uh, as we mentioned last hour. But the team we really needed to lose yesterday was Seattle. Had Seattle gotten beaten yesterday by Pittsburgh? The Panthers would have already um, secured a playoff spot, which, you know, they're going to get anyway. Yeah, they are. But uh, now a win on Saturday uh, – on Sunday against uh, New, Orleans, uh, New Orleans in there, they've, they've secured the playoff spot. And they just got to keep winning so they get the home field And advantage. I don't believe they play a team moving forward with a winning record. Yeah. So. Maybe, well, they well got currently. The, the Giants. The Giants. They got okay. the Giants left. Did the Giants have a winning record? Uh, well, the Giants got beat they, by the Redskins They may on not Sunday. because nobody. I don't think no. I don't think anybody in the NFC East has one, has a winning record. I, I don't think they do. I think they actually dropped below 500 with that loss last But night. how about the Denver Broncos winning without Peyton Manning over the Patriots? That guy Osweiler's doing a good job. Isn't he, he is, and, and I mean the weather last night was brutal. Yeah, so if you saw they that played game, in the snow. It, it was tough. Yeah, the Giants are five and six. Yeah. Okay. So. Interesting. Go Cats. So uh, the Panthers uh, next, I believe they've moved that game to 415. 425. They moved it to the national broadcast. 425 kick. The, uh, you know, the NFL has what they call flex games. Yep. They can, that game was originally scheduled to be played at 1 o'clock in New Orleans, but because the Panthers are so hot and everybody in the country now wants to see Cam mm -hmm. Newton play, they've moved that to a 415 kickoff, and it will be the national TV game on Fox. Nice. Yeah, that <coughs> NFC's tough, though. You know, they're playing good, but Arizona's really good. Minnesota's good. Yeah. Seattle's still going to be Seattle. You know. Yeah. Ah, man, tough road ahead. A lot of football. Saw Coach left. Logan lost again yesterday. Yeah. They, had, they had the Cardinals uh, tie 13-13 and lost like with a minute left to go in the game. They lost 19-13. 3-8. and 3-8. Yeah. Tough year for Coach Logan back in the NFL. Yeah, a little tough year. Over with the 49ers. All right, 18 minutes after uh, 8, we're going to take a break. We're going to learn about the um, Greenville Homes Tour for Christmas coming up this morning. And don't forget, Friday morning, once again, it is our Operation Santa Claus toy drive coming. We're going to be broadcasting live at Overton's, corner of Red Banks and Evans. We're going to be out there live with the Greenville Fire and Rescue guys, Highway Patrol, Salvation Army folks. It is our annual toy drive for kids in Pitt County. All the toys collected will stay in Pitt County. Please bring a new, unwrapped, brand new toy out. Make that part of your uh, family event. Uh, maybe you can have your kids come out with you between 7 and 9. We're going to have uh, Krispy Kreme donuts out there. And uh, be a nice thing to uh, have your family uh, present a toy to the Salvation Army and Fire and Rescue guys to give to another kid. It will stay in Pitt County. We guarantee it. That's coming up Friday morning for the Operation Santa Claus toy drive drop-off at Overton's. That's where we'll be. 19 after 8. We'll be right back. World record sales event at Greenville Toyota. We've got over 250 vehicles, and they're all on sale. Get new Camrys, $179 a month. Help us break the record. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. Oh, it's incredible. Check it out, guys. My new Pepsi nickname cans are here. Drink up. Uh, Luke, can I get one, too? Sorry, man. Those are my last two. Guess your out of Luke. 
Is he all right? Yeah, he's just really into puns. But no worries, we got plenty of bottles. <laughs> cool cat, nice. Looks like my work here is done. Look for Luke Keekley Pepsi nickname cans and Panthers fan nickname bottles in stores now. Full Service Flooring is your exclusive platinum dealer for Carndine Design Flooring. By offering a wide and impressive range of colors, textures, and finishes, you can create the looks that are unique to your home and guaranteed to last for years. Stop by Full Service Flooring today and check out our design table that makes your creations come to life. With the largest and best collection of luxury vinyl tile and Carndine, Full Service Flooring has just what you've been looking for. Visit the new showroom just off Fire Tower Road behind Chick-fil-A or give them a call at 756-9308. Pitt County contains over 73,000 real property parcels, which are divided into over 900 neighborhoods. Pitt County assesses all property annually through the revaluation process. If you want to know more about revaluation, just call Pitt County Tax Administration at 902-3400 or email us at pitttaxassessor at pittcountync.gov. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. There's a new name and convenience in Eastern North Carolina. All Wilco has stores are now Speedway. What makes Speedway different? They understand people's needs. There are many choices out there, but Speedway recognizes that nothing less than outstanding service, a wide selection of products, and a real value for your dollar will attract loyal customers. More than anything, Speedway offers convenience. Come see us at Speedway, serving 22 states in the U.S. and now proud to serve the communities right here in Eastern North Carolina. Don't miss our world record sales event at Greenville Toyota with over 250 vehicles on sale. Plus, get oil changes, tire rotations, free car washes, loaners for life, and more with the Greenville Toyota Advantage. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. Boom, boom, boom. I hit it when Michael plays really good classic rock music, and i got to start talking over it because I know the audience is like, why are you talking over that song? Yeah, it's a good tune. Michael, play ugly music. It's <laughs> 20, actually, I like that music. 23 after 8 o'clock. Uh, news time here on uh, Talk of the Town here on Monday morning, November the 30th, and uh, at the news desk from WITN this morning is Brendan King with the very lo latest local news headlines. Good morning, BK. Hey, good morning, Henry. Uh, let me pull it up. Sorry. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I okay. caught him by surprise? I wasn't ready. Uh. Okay. Uh, a 19-year-old was killed early Sunday morning in a hunting accident, according to State Wildlife Resources. They say it happened in Wayne County off Casbridge Road near Gurley Dairy Road. That was sometime uh, before 8 a.m., 19-year-old Bailey Lynch was killed. A sergeant says Lynch was hunting with at least one other person when it happened. The investigation is continuing. A 12-year-old girl who was riding her bike when she was hit by an SUV last week on the Outer Banks has died. And that's according to WNCN. They report that Kill Devil Hills Police said Bree Blumenthal was in the crosswalk when she was hit last Monday. Family and friends say Blumenthal was about two miles from her school when the accident happened. Her dad, Scotty, wrote on social media that his daughter passed away Thanksgiving Day at the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters in Norfolk. Charges against the SUV driver are pending. Family and friends of Blumenthal say the driver was blinded by the sun. For the third consecutive day, a silo at a Pitt County plant containing sweet potato product is still smoldering. The Farmville and Fountain Fire Departments have been working around the clock blasting water on the outside of the silo. Neighbors near the Natural Blend plant on West Marlboro Road tell WITN they first heard the fire trucks arrive around 7.30 Friday morning. The general manager says the silo was originally filled with about a half million pounds of those sweet potato pellets that's used in ingredients and pet foods. 
the investigation there continues. And East Carolina University is giving the public a chance to weigh in on the search for a new chancellor in all eight public uh, forums across the state are planned in the coming weeks by ECU to get input. There will be regional forums across North Carolina, as well as two in Greenville for students, two for faculty and staff, and one for residents of Greenville and Pitt County. The first is tonight at the Craven Community College Newman uh, Community Room Student Center Room 115 at 5 to 6.30 p.m. Chancellor Steve Ballard announced this summer his plans to step down effective July 1st. He has served as chancellor since 2004. Time now is 8.25. You're up to date. All right, very good. Yeah, I hope a lot of folks will come out to uh, Craven Community College tonight for that forum and uh, tell the uh, tell the folks, uh, sound off on, you know, who the next chancellor, what the next chancellor, the qualities of our next chancellor at ECU should be. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is, um, they're going to be, I think, eight of those listening yeah. sessions. There'll lot. be some here in Greenville, mm -hmm. and um, but the first one's in New Bern tonight. 5 o'clock, so come out tonight for that. 25 after 8 o'clock. Let's check our weather. Going to be wet to start the week. Here's McGee. Yeah, cloudy and uh, rainy today. That rain will continue into tonight with a high of 58 degrees. Lows tonight around 50 for your Tuesday. The rain chance decreases to around 10% and uh, 65 for the high. Lows in the mid-50s. Evening showers expected for your Wednesday with a high of 72. Lows in the upper 40s before a cooling period comes for Thursday and Friday with highs in the mid-50s. All right, news and weather, a service this hour of Country Mart stores of Pitt County. There are two of them, one uh, between Greenville and Bethel on Highway 11 and one at 903 and Stokes. And speaking of a food coma, yeah. if, if you want to just continue your food coma, you can go have some good country cooking today at Smitty's Restaurant in the uh, Country Mart uh, Greenville-Bethel location on Highway 11. It's only about three or four miles outside of Greenville. When you get out past, like, the Burroughs Welcome area, very good, and they have uh, daily uh, great, uh, great breakfast, including those great biscuits. Get one of those smoked sausage biscuits. Oh, <laughs> hey now! And uh, they've got great, famous cheese biscuits. The Stokes location serves up great food every day too. Now the home of Gulf Products. When you're gassing up, good gas prices at Country Mart, 903 in Stokes and Highway 11 between Greenville and Bethel. Our buddy Ken Smith out there, Kenneth, does a great job with both of those Country Mart locations. 27 now after 8 o'clock. Holidays are here. One of the best things every year in Greenville that uh, people wait for is the Greenville Holiday Homes Tour. If you want to tour some of the most beautiful decorated homes uh, that you'll ever see, listen up. We're going to talk about it next. Judy Witcher, Pam Kaufman. Here They come every year to tell us uh, whose homes are on tour in Greenville, and we're going to do that next, right after this break. Be right back. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's the Jeep Celebration event. Lease a Grand Cherokee for only $2.89 a month. Save big this fall at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Go see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. It's golf season, and now's the time to get to Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and FootJoy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. In 2016, when you go to the polls, bring your passion and be sure to bring a photo ID. You see, this election you'll be asked to show an acceptable photo ID at the polls. If you don't have an ID or if you're unable to obtain one, there are still options for voting. There are lots of acceptable IDs. But only one you. This election, be seen, be heard. For information on exceptions or for help getting a free ID, visit voterid.nc.gov or call 866-522-4723. Oh, it's incredible. Check it out, guys. My new Pepsi nickname cans are here. Drink up. Uh, Luke, can I get one, too? Sorry, man. Those are my last two. Guess you're out of Luke. <laughs> Is he all right? Yeah, he's just really into puns. But no worries. We got plenty of bottles. <laughs> cool cat. Nice. Luke's psych. My work here is done. 
Look for Luke Keekley Pepsi nickname cans and Panthers fan nickname bottles in stores now. There's a new name of convenience in eastern North Carolina. All Wilco has stores are now Speedway. What makes Speedway different? They understand people's needs. There are many choices out there, but Speedway recognizes that nothing less than outstanding service, a wide selection of products, and a real value for your dollar will attract loyal customers. More than anything, Speedway offers convenience. Come see us at Speedway, serving 22 states in the U.S. and now proud to serve the communities right here in eastern North Carolina. Pitt County contains over 73,000 real property parcels, which are divided into over 900 neighborhoods. Pitt County assesses all property annually through the revaluation process. If you want to know more about revaluation, just call Pitt County Tax Administration at 902-3400 or email us at Pitt Tax Assessor at PittCountyNC.gov. Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's Ram Truck Month. Lease a new 2015 Ram for only $289 a month. Save big this fall at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. To see us! Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Yes. You are correct. Welcome back. Uh, talk of the town. Pam Kaufman is just giving me uh, all the instructions about the weekend. Yeah. I haven't mentioned the Greenville Christmas Parade all day. Thank you for reminding okay. me. Pam Kaufman and uh, Judy Wichard live in the studio. It's their annual appearance on Talk this of the is Town. It, this it is, is. This makes us get into the 14, Christmas. How many years? years? 14. 14 years. Y'all have done this 14 years? Yes. Yeah. You've been on this show 14 years? Yeah, Henry. We are old pros. We don't age. You do, I didn't even think don't. I had been doing this show 14 years. <laughs> well, we've been doing it 14. I think we've God, just that's about. unbelievable. How you doing? We're good. We're good. Good to see two of Greenville's uh, icons <laughs> oh my. here this morning. We're and getting old, old, too. You come in every year and tell us about the holiday oh. homes tour and bazaar. And we and keep begging come, you to have your house on. Yeah, talk to the bride. Uh huh. So we go through this. <laughs> I, I can tell you. Some she year was, we're going to get you. She was decorating hard yesterday. Mm hmm. But she, it, uh, well, so were seven other families. Yeah, yeah. so were seven other families, is right. So, so this Saturday is the annual homes tour in Greenville. Seven families open their homes to the entire community after they decorate. Who's on the tour this year? All right, Judy, Judy. All right, I go. have to put my glasses on. I know, on. We, both, uh, we both have this to. This is a sign she's of age. I didn't old. used to have to do We've this. got um, uh, Doc Ayers um, uh, and his wife Jenny this year who are in Ironwood. We've got Elizabeth and Bill Blunt who are in Brook Green. Oh, and, sweet. And Jenny Kay and Bill Bogey who oh, are great. also yeah. in. They in, just built a fabulous Yeah, they just homeless. built a beautiful new it's home. Wonderful so people. Unique. Love those people. So That's right. Great friends. Uh, Leanna and Tom Chaplinski are on this mm -hmm. year in um, Blue Banks. Were and there how many trees? I think 22 trees yes. in, the in the house. house? Yes. In the house. See, and see, that it's not so e you, you could do it so easily I in comparison. Say, yeah. Think about that. We will never be on this tour. <laughs> if we she decorates bring... every other year because there is so, so much. much that she does. Oh but she absolutely adores Christmas. And she changes things up. Because like, yeah. they have been on um, 22 time. trees? That's, yep, that's worth the price of the tour right there. Exactly. You're darn right it is. And that's at Blue Banks? That's yep. in Blue Banks. Okay. Uh, we've got two in Rock Springs, Katie and Eric Harris, and Jan and Roger Jones. And if you, if you stop and think about this, uh, there are a number of them that are going out uh, Fifth Street, uh, mm -hmm. beyond the hospital. Mm -hmm. We've got Ironwood, we've got Blue Banks, and we've got Rock Springs, a number of houses out there. But this year, we also have something extremely different, and that is Lee and Jeffrey Johnson, who are each um, professors at East Carolina. One's head of the English department, one is a religious studies professor. They have an apartment down in the uh, Renaissance building on Evans Street, right next oh, to the yeah. Indian restaurant, right. across from the old lotteries and the old Bissett yeah, drugstore. Right. Yeah, yeah. There are a couple of apartments in that building, and theirs is one. And we want it. Mm -hmm. It is very interesting, and it's walkable from St. Paul's. That's Pauls. a new. That's yeah. kind of a new uh, trend. Apartment yeah. area, residential. Yeah, is that some yeah. Of Don yeah. There, there are there are people who Renovating are in them. all of this renovation stuff oh, that's yeah. going on downtown who really want to see this uh, become a, a great big trend downtown. But Lee and Jeffrey cool. are I mean, on the it's cutting edge. In, it's happened in Raleigh. In Raleigh, exactly. yeah. Raleigh's got a lot of downtown apartment uh, homes now. Yeah. 
New yeah. windows. And, I mean, uh, you know, it's yep. it's inevitable that it's going to happen. It's beginning to happen in Greenville, too. You can just well, drop you, off at the scullery and get a little breakfast. Oh, yeah. Or you can get over breakfast. To the church <laughs> you can see the uh, Christmas tour. Uh, Patty told me at the wine bar in Jefferson's is um, opening up to have people bring their box lunches from St. Paul's and say, come up and have a glass of wine while you're having your box of your it, box. It doesn't lunch. get much better and, than that. Honey. Yeah, all walkable. All right, so now for <laughs> folks who have never been on the tour before, it, 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 it doesn't have to, but you most people start at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Most people and do. You, and you have a bazaar bizarre going on. Early. You have a bazaar. Yeah. But now, but now you can buy tickets and start any. It's it's a self guided. You can tour. start anywhere you want. So yeah. you can go. Yeah. So um, so uh, where do you get? You still get tickets at Kaufman's. At Kaufman's, at Lotteries, at Jefferson's, at um, So Right, <laughs> and uh, Scullery, and the Scullery, and right. you, yeah. And you said Jefferson's, right. and also and then you can in also the pick them bar. up at St. Paul's. You know, if you go to the bazaar. So you if you don't, if there. you don't, if you're planning to come to St. Paul's, you can just buy one Saturday morning. And you can also pick them up if you happen to be near one of these houses. They also sell them at the door. Okay. So you can yeah. pick them up there as well. The only difference we did this year that's just a slight tweak is we've always been known for the box lunch, which is fabulous. Um, so you used to buy your ticket with the box lunch for $25 or without the box lunch for 20 This year, it's just a flat 25 And then if you want your box lunch, you buy that for another 5 at the church. Okay. So it's just sort of So the lunch is just little, 5 bucks. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. And that's and an additional great, 5 bucks. Yeah, that's just, right. Okay. And the, um, the tour begins at 10, ends at 4. So it's a one-day thing. On the, Saturday. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the bazaar begins at 9 o'clock. Yeah, okay. so go get all your little... Christmas goodies. So Saturday, 10 to 4, it's the annual Christmas Homes Tour. Seven houses. Seven homes across the city. And it sounds like uh, some new twists this year with the uh, downtown apartment. That's right. Yep. And uh, the home with seven trees. No, 22. 22 no, no, 22 trees. trees. What was I thinking? Yours is going to have there seven. Seven homes, 22 yeah, trees. Yeah, right. Yours is going to have seven. Yeah, there uh, is, the there is an... Kaufman's have seven <laughs> trees. How many trees do you have in your house? One. Yeah. One's enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get it. This Pam weekend. and I saw oh, yeah. each other. Well, Judy got hers yesterday. I got my wreath. I will say that we used to start. have two. Okay. We, Debbie used to do two trees. Well, I mean, we, I have a couple of little. We would do the big hot tree hot in the uh, in the living room, right. and then we'd put. She'd have a second tree in the dining room. Uh huh. Okay. But uh, it just got to be too much. You can do it, Henry. No, no. Look, you I know, you know, you she, know what the too hey, much she, means. She, she does it. What the exactly. too much means is that wine. you're getting old. Yeah, exactly. You got, you got that right. But I do help because I pour the wine while she's decorating. Oh, oh that's okay. that's splendid. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's very. Yeah, All right, so uh, get your tickets this week. $25. Yep. $25. Uh, pick them up if you can while you're out, and then if not, you can pick them up the day of. All right, now, is, uh, is there going to be uh, something in a newspaper or online or somewhere that people can – get more information about this or you can actually go Saint get Paul's, you can go um, get your tickets you yeah. can go to Kaufman's or yeah. Lotteries or Jefferson's, uh, Jefferson's or so right and go ahead and, and I guess it's got a map in there in it the, does yep. have a map in it and there's also there there will be another ad I think in this Wednesday's paper there was a great article in in the reflector on Thanksgiving Day uh, at the front of the um, the go section okay but you were busy um, cooking yeah, and I'm sure that, that you, I'm sure you could go online and pull that up, but you can also go to St. Paul's Episcopal Church website and pu and pull it up. What you know what that is? Just stpaulsepiscopal.com. Okay. Or you can just Google St. Paul's Episcopal That's Church. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Right on 4th right. Street. Did so we, it's all in walking distance. What did we miss? Did we get it all? I, I think, think we, we got, got it all. all. Just all right. come have fun. Yeah. And go drink a glass of wine. And or the go bazaar the bazaar scullery. starts at 10? 9. 9. Starts at 9. So, so that's if you want to go to the bazaar. Mhm. At nine, and then you can do that, and then walk and, down. And to I'm the... going to say something about that bazaar. It is a fabulous <laughs> bazaar. It is amazing the low prices that are mm -hmm. put on everything. Uh, there's food, and there's also incredible gift baskets. Two of the uh, the guilds in the church do so much work all all year long to put these things together. And I always think that they they price things too low. Way too but, low. Um, you know, that's, that's, friend that's my opinion. And neighborhood gifts. Yeah. And, teacher you know, gifts, teacher. all kinds of gifts. I thought Pam Kaufman was the retailer. I didn't know that was you. But. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Judy's everything. And, you know, you can uh, you, you can time this out since you're starting at 9 o'clock. Right. I think the parade is uh, – did you tell us the parade was 1030 this year? I think the Greenville Christmas Parade is either 10 or 1030. <laughs> I'll, I'll confirm that. Well, that's all when right. you just walk it. She was here you last week. Yeah, you can just yeah. park your car and then just walk down to the that's parade. Right. Yeah. And the new parking deck downtown really yes. aids in everything. all of this. No doubt.
Yep. All right. So good to see pray you. Pray for both. good weather and Merry Christmas to Merry you. Christmas, Merry Christmas, Henry. Henry. We'll see you this time you. next year. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Pam Kaufman and Judy Witchard. Their fourteenth appearance on Talk of the Town, oh talking goodness. about the—I uh, cannot believe. Are we it. like a, a? You might win an award. We might break the the record. Like you on Saturday Night Live, well, Walter, they have the you know the Walter ones that have been on the most. Walter Jones oh, would have appeared man. more than you, but other than Walter, I don't know. got to compete with Walter. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. I don't want to compete with Walter. <laughs> Good to see you, Judy Richard, uh, Pam Coffin, and the Greenville Homes Tour and Bazaar coming this. Saturday, uh, 10 to 4 here in Greenville. Thanks for having All us. All right, thank you guys. Thank you very much. Good to much. see you both. 20 in front of 9. We'll be right back with McGee on Sports. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's the Jeep Celebration event. Lease a Grand Cherokee for only $289 a month. Save big this fall at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Go see us. Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Full Service Flooring is your exclusive platinum dealer for Carndine Design Flooring. By offering a wide and impressive range of colors, textures, and finishes, you can create the looks that are unique to your home and guaranteed to last for years. Stop by Full Service Flooring today and check out our design table that makes your creations come to life. With the largest and best collection of luxury vinyl tile and Carndine, Full Service Flooring has just what you've been looking for. Visit the new showroom just off Fire Tower Road behind Chick-fil-A or give them a call at 756-9308. It's golf season, and now's the time to get to Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and Foot Joy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. There's a new name and convenience in Eastern North Carolina. All Wilco has stores are now Speedway. What makes Speedway different? They understand people's needs. There are many choices out there, but Speedway recognizes that nothing less than outstanding service, a wide selection of products, and a real value for your dollar will attract loyal customers. More than anything, Speedway offers convenience. Come see us at Speedway, serving 22 states in the U.S. and now proud to serve the communities right here in Eastern North Carolina. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. My prescription refills. My son's shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidentMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. It's Ram Truck Month. Lease a new 2015 Ram for only $289 a month. Save big this fall at East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Go see us! Across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. All right, 17 in front of 9 o'clock. Welcome back. It's Talk of the Town uh, Monday morning here on uh, the 30th day of November. Football is over for uh, most schools. Rose High continues on in the playoffs. We'll have that game for you coming up on uh, Friday night. As we mentioned earlier, they got uh, New Hanover High School. We'll have that game for you on 94-3 the game. Basketball is starting. And uh, our own uh, coach, Neil Carr, who's worked producing our show for many years, has his North Pitt girls team ready to go again. Coach Carr is on the telephone. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing? You, uh, now, uh, by the way, we miss you in here. We haven't seen you in a while. Everybody's asking where you are, but you're busy coaching your team. 
You're getting real serious about it this year, aren't you? I mean, you guys were one game away from the state championship last year. You're not going to let it slip away this year. Well, we're going to try not to, and uh, we're not really going to try to uh, to bring home the championship back to Pitt County. Now and you, uh, you got a big one tonight. Yeah, we do. We uh, we play at Rose High School, and uh, I said earlier uh, that you'd rather. I said earlier you'd rather beat Rose High than than breathe oxygen. Uh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> before I before I comment on that, I just want to congratulate Rose High School for advancing to uh, his football team. Yeah, you know, for, uh, but you don't want their girls' basketball team to advance. That's for sure. And I, I want to. <laughs> Congratulate Collin too. It's always good to have a pick county team to uh, you know, Those are two those offense. are two good football teams right there. Yeah, I thought but now that you game, but you uh you got everybody in the state is talking about your girls basketball team. You got um, how many division one uh athletes do you think you have on that team? Uh I have three. You think there's three division three. one girls basketball players? How does uh, that yeah. happen on a basketball team in Bethel, North Carolina? Is it coaching? Um, well, no, it's, it's just, <laughs> just been unfortunate. You know how the cycle works here. I mean, you have been involved in high school sports once. Uh, every so often, every 10 years or 8 years or how many years, uh, you're always going to find some, you know, a couple of ball players. So that's yeah. what happened. But yeah. you got you got more than a couple of good ball. you got a really good basketball team. Now, have any of your girls committed uh, anywhere yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, Doran Shop is a. Uh, She's a senior about, this year, right? Yes, yes. So and this is going to be her last year. If you want to see Doran Sharp play, you you need to come watch her because she's going to be playing somewhere in college next right. year. And she's going to uh, name her school in April. Um, oh, so she's not. She's going to go through the whole season and. Uh, yeah. And so you're going to be getting a lot of phone calls from um, Heather Macy and Sylvia Hatchell and. <laughs> Everybody. Yes, else. Well, yeah, well, I, I talked to uh, uh, Sylvia uh, uh, a couple months ago, and we were still getting phone calls. And, um, uh, you know, one of our players, she, she's a senior. She's also a D1 recruiter aspect. Uh, uh, she, uh, she's a short 22 points from scoring 1,000 points. So wow. So hopefully she'll get that tonight. Uh, you know, Doran got hers last year. Doran Sharp got her last year. Hopefully Ty Quasier game will get hers tonight. So what time will the girls' game start? I know the JV start at 4 o'clock today. Yeah. Uh, so the girls will start, what, about 5.30, something like that? No, because we have, it's good, there are four games this year. Uh, we oh. have a JV girls also this year. So it'll be late. Uh, it'll be had, more like seven o'clock. Right. We're about six thirty, six forty-five. Yes. It's, it's so, the, the so this rose, time. this rose, uh, North Pitt girls game that you've been looking forward to all year will be at yes. about six thirty tonight at the Rose Garden. At, well, yeah. at Rose High School. Yes. Yeah. All right, Coach. Yes. So if you come, I hope you come. And you've been trend, you've trend. been you've been beating teams really bad. You know you need to stop doing that. Well, you got to stop beating day. teams like 70 to 15, Coach. Oh, so you've been keeping up with us. Well, McGee just told me. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you, know, well, you know that comes back around, right? Yeah, it does. It does. If you, if, 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 can, you not, well, can you not keep from doing that, or is that, is that just you can't stop it from happening? Well, I can't stop it here. You know how it goes with kids. You know, once you uh, have them in this, you know, you have them the way you – uh, want them as far as practice goes. You can't, yeah. you can't tell them not to do it. Yeah, I got uh, you. No, as long as you get out there and say, uh, uh, just like the Carolina Panthers, your Carolina Panthers, you know, they are undefeated. I mean, what are they going to do, lose one game? You know, you're going to tell them lose one game? No. So, you know, you, you know, you just tell them to go out there and play their own basketball game. If the opponent doesn't keep up, then. I think Coach I mean, Carr I just likened his team to the Carolina Panthers. I did. That's yeah, you're right. That's what it sounded like to me. Yeah, I, I think I jumped on, um, on the bandwagon. I, I, I think so. Yeah, it's time for you to give up on those Ravens. I said I uh, said earlier this morning the Ravens are playing tonight. McGee said nobody will be watching. I said, yeah, Coach Carr will be watching, but you won't because you'll be coaching your team. Of course, you'll be home you know in time. What? You know, here I really miss you, and uh, I, was, I want to say I miss McGee, but after McGee saying that, I, you know, I really don't miss hey, you're done much. with McGee. Yeah, a lot of us are yeah. done. A lot of us are done. <laughs> I'm just speaking the truth, man. 
All right. Yeah, hey, you're, you're hopefully, probably right, hopefully there'll be no drones over your game tonight. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach. I'm co- uh, I'm coming tonight, but I'm wearing neutral colors. Uh, no, you must wear orange. I'm not wearing orange. I'm not going to do it. I love you, uh, uh, but I'm I'm wearing neutral colors. I don't want to uh, create a, um, a, a, a a a scene. Yeah, I understand. So well, no, let's stay with Plus, you haven't option. given me anything orange to wear. I don't have any orange. Oh, so, I can bring you some. Yeah, I, I know I you can. Yeah. <laughs> but, but just wear orange. And, and look, I, I want to thank you and, uh, for everything you've done. I want to I want to thank uh, Kenny Smith also, the owner of uh, Country Mart, if that's okay. Kenny Smith stepped up and helped you this year, didn't he? Yes, and uh, and my friend Homer, Homer from the Tire Real Estate. Oh, did he really? Homer Tire helped you too? Yeah. That's yes, awesome. I really, That's I awesome. really appreciate that. I really hey, appreciate people that. love a winner, Coach. Keep on winning. <laughs> people love a okay. winner. Well, all right, bud. All right. Good luck tonight. All right, thank all right, you. There he is. There you go. The high school coach of the year in this area last year, Coach Neil Carr, who used to show up over here and work every now and then, but now he's too big for us. He does come in on Friday mornings when we need him, so we appreciate that. Uh, All right, it is uh, nine minutes in front of nine. McGee has some sports headlines for us here. McGee, anything happening with sports we hadn't talked about? Or Mm, nothing we haven't talked about? We're rehashing. We're rehashing. Here's McGee on sports. Rehashing week twelve in the the NFL Sunday night football. The Broncos handed the Patriots their first loss of the season, thirty to twenty four in overtime, leaving the Carolina Panthers as the only unbeaten team in the NFL. Russell Wilson threw five touchdown passes to lead the Seahawks past the Steelers, 39-30. to They did lose tight end Jimmy Graham in the win. He tore his patellar tendon and is out for the season. Cardinals moved to 9-2 and with a 19-13 win over the 49ers, dropping San Francisco to 3-8. and Texans won their fourth straight over the Saints, 24-6. to Saints are the next uh, opponent up for the Carolina Panthers coming up next Sunday. Coming up tonight, the Ravens visit the Browns on Monday night. Football 8-30 is the kickoff time. College football news. Georgia fired head football coach Mark Richt after 15 seasons. A lot of rumors around Alabama defensive coordinator Kirby Smart as a possible replacement for Mark Richt. There are now 15 FBS head coaching vacancies in college football. College basketball from Sunday night. Number six, Duke thumped Utah State 85-52. EC back in action tomorrow night hosting Florida Atlantic. The Owls right now 1-4 on the season. And NBA news, Kobe Bryant made it official on Sunday announcing that he will retire at the end of the season. All right, that's our sports update. East Carolina and uh, Florida Atlantic tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. I'll be there for that. So a lot of basketball to go to this week. A lot of high school and Yeah, whatever. a big game you know, tomorrow night with uh, North Carolina and Maryland. Is that right? Tomorrow yeah, night? It's tomorrow night. They don't get to play during the, the uh, conference season anymore. Yeah, it's a 9.30 tip-off. That's big is, uh, is Paige back? Is Marcus Paige going to play? I think he's going to play tomorrow night. Man, they need him. They need him. They need him. They really do. They still can't shoot, but they need him. He can't shoot? No, they collectively as a team, oh, they just can't shoot. Oh, they just can't shoot the basketball. Yeah, yeah. So. All right, sports update brought to you by Suddenlink. If you have not made the switch to Suddenlink TV and Internet yet, let me be the first to tell you. This is the time to do it. Great deals going on right now. It's called their More Power Switch event. And, of course, everybody needs good, fast Internet these days. Uh, we'd be lost without it at this point in our lives, wouldn't we? Uh, you, need to, uh, you need to check it out. The uh, suddenly Internet is 25 times faster than your average phone company Internet. And the high definition gives you access to hundreds of channels, video on demand, and pay-per-view. Call right now and get SL200 HDTV and 100 meg internet for just 69 bucks a month. <coughs> Pardon me. That's it. $69 a month. Uh, 200 HD channels. 200 a- it's called the SL200 HDTV package. And the 100 meg internet, just $69 a month. Plus, you'll get access to on demand. Don't wait. Call them today, 866-432-1184. That's 866-432-1184. Visit them online at suddenlink.com, or you can go to one of the Suddenlink stores in your neighborhood. Suddenlink's got a 30-day money-back guarantee and always live local customer service to keep you online all the time. You're not talking to a robot, not talking to somebody that says, uh, leave your message, we'll call you back. You get Suddenlink live human beings on the other end to help you solve whatever problem you might be having. Six minutes in front of uh, 9 o'clock. Again, I want to remind everybody that uh, this Friday morning is our annual toy drive through 
the Operation Santa Claus. We started Operation Santa Claus years ago <clears throat> with the guys at Greenville Fire and Rescue here and, um, and the Salvation Army because we wanted to have a local toy drive that um, was, would ensure that all of the toys would stay local. And this is it, coming up uh, Friday morning. We're going to be live at Overton's, 7 to 9 during the show. So bring the kids by on the way to school. Going to have some Krispy Kreme donuts out there for you. Going to have some hot coffee from Krispy Kreme. Amanda's going to hook us up with some Krispy Kreme. So uh, come by, get a donut, drop off a toy, and you will be doing something really nice for an underprivileged uh, family this year. Uh, I can tell you that in years past, uh, it just warms your heart to see what happens when the Salvation Army distributes these toys to kids. Sure does. Here in Pitt County. And um, you think about how how much your kids love Christmas. Uh, think about a kid that uh, is going to get nothing for Christmas this year. And, uh, you know, one little toy would just make their whole Christmas and uh, and, and restore their, their feelings about uh, the magic of Christmas. So... You know, uh, this time of year, people think about uh, doing for other people, and uh, we wanted to give you an opportunity to do for the folks right here in your own community that might need a little help during this Christmas season. So plan to be with us on Friday morning, 7 to 9. We're going to be live at Overton's, the, uh, the the big Overton store at the corner of Red Banks Road and Evans Street. You'll probably see some fire trucks out there. The Greenville Fire and Rescue folks will be there. The Highway Patrol will be there, and, of course, uh, uh, Captain John Sykes and the folks from the Salvation Army will be there as well. And we appreciate uh, we appreciate the involvement every year. Every year people bring out lots of toys, and we really do appreciate that. Uh, and this is it coming up Saturday morning, 7 to 9. We need to get those toys to the Salvation Army so they can get them distributed in time for the Christmas season. It's here, McGee. Already can't believe it. It is here. Can't believe and, of course, uh, Friday night, Rose High. In the state championships, uh, playing for the Eastern Finals uh, after beating Conley. What a great game that was on Friday night at Conley. Congratulations to Conley on a great season. Rose High wins it by two points and moves on to the state championships. And we'll have that game for the Eastern Regional Finals uh, coming up 7 o'clock, coming up on Friday night on 94.3 The Game. Have a great Monday, everybody. Dance Arts Theater presents the Nutcracker Ballet with the Eastern Symphony Orchestra, December 12th and 13th at ECU's Wright Auditorium. Come experience the magic of the season with three spectacular performances, December 12th and 13th. Call 800-ECU-ARTS to reserve your seats today. Don't miss our world record sales event at Greenville Toyota with over 250 vehicles on sale. Plus, get oil changes, tire rotations, free car washes, loaners for life, and more with the Greenville Toyota Advantage. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. It's golf season, and now's the time to get to Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard for everything golf. Gordon's carries all the high-quality brands of clubs, including Ping, Titleist, Mizuno, Callaway, and TaylorMade. Get your old clubs repaired, reshafted, or regripped. Come in today and let our teaching pro find the right fit for you. We have a wide selection of clothing, including Travis Matthew, Adidas, Oakley, Mizuno, and Puma. We have Echo and FootJoy shoes, too. The Sky Caddy GPS is a must-have for every golfer. Gordon's Golf Ski and Snowboard, East Arlington Boulevard, Greenville. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. In 2016, when you go to the polls, bring your passion and be sure to bring a photo ID. You see, this election you'll be asked to show an acceptable photo ID at the polls. If you don't have an ID or if you're unable to obtain one, there are still options for voting. There are lots of acceptable IDs. But only one you. This election, be seen, be heard. For information on exceptions or for help getting a free ID, visit voterid.nc.gov or call 866-522-4723. Pitt County contains over 73,000 real property parcels, which are divided into over 900 neighborhoods. Pitt County assesses all property annually through the revaluation process. 
If you want to know more about revaluation, just call Pitt County Tax Administration at 902-3400 or email us at pitttaxassessor at pittcountync.gov. Don't miss our world record sales event at Greenville Toyota. We've got over 250 vehicles, and they're all on sale. Get new Camrys, $179 a month. Help us break the record. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. Dance Arts Theater presents the Nutcracker Ballet with the Eastern Symphony Orchestra, December 12th and 13th at ECU's Wright Auditorium. Come experience the magic of the season with three spectacular performances, December 12th and 13th. Call 800-ECU-ARTS to reserve your seats today. 